These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now hosting and proud to face media. We got a really great PS3 tutorial today. This applies to both modded and non-modded, non uh, non-CFW PS3s. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your hard drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a backup of your existing files on your hard drive to an external hard drive. And then from there, we're going to go through the backup process. And then we're going to swap in a new hard drive and then restore it. And it's going to be a lot of good times. So let's do this. And if you guys are curious, I have a PS3 Slim running Rebug 4.78.2. So what I have now is I have an external hard drive. It's connected to my PS3 Slim. It's about a 160 gigabyte hard drive. And what I want to do here is if I go to System Settings. And I go to system information, my hard drive right now is pretty small. It's about 20 gigabytes. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to upgrade it to a 320 gigabyte hard drive. So before I do that, what you want to do is go to backup utility, go to backup, and then here at this point in time, make sure you go ahead and sync your trophies because you will lose your trophies during this backup process um, at once everything is said and done. So say yes after this prompt. Say yes. Go ahead, select your USB device. Click on X, and then it's going to go through this progress meter of backing up your hard drive. It's going to vary depending on how much stuff you have on your hard drive. I'm not going to do that right now because I already did it earlier today, and uh, it took me about 30 minutes, for example. But once again, I have a small hard drive to begin with on my internal PS3. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip this, but go ahead, go through this process. It's going to take you about an hour or so depending on how much stuff you have. Once you are done, now what you want to do is go ahead, shut down your PS3, Okay, and then go ahead and replace your hard drive. Now, to help save some time, I'm not going to show you that hard drive replacement process, but it's pretty simple. You just have to open up the bottom of your PS3 with the little lid, unscrew the little screw there. I think it's a blue screw, and then pull out your PS3 hard drive, remove the four screws, put your new PS3 hard drive in the tray, and put it back into the PS3. So if you guys want to learn how to do that in the future, let me know. I can do a follow-up tutorial, but to help save some time, I'm going to skip that portion of the video process. So the next portion of the video, I'm going to show you my new hard drive reinstalled in the PS3 and continue. Let's do this. Okay, we're back. So what I've done is I put a new hard drive inside my PS3 caddy and I turn on the PS3. Also, one thing you, you want to do is you're going to need a USB cable to connect to your PS3 controller. And then you also want a USB thumb drive that has your latest PS3 firmware update. So it's going to be the PS3 folder and then the subfolder is update. Inside that update folder is the PS3 updat.pup and the thumb drive is formatted as FAT32. So make sure you have your firmware update file in your USB thumb drive. So now what we're going to do is I want to press the PS button. Here you come to this screen. At this point in time, I'm going to press select and start at the same time. Now it's checking, please wait. And then once this process is done, we'll see what the next screen is. And for sake of time, I will edit and fast forward as needed. Okay, at this screen it says the system partition will be formatted, so I want to press select and start at the same time for at least five seconds and it's going to start this format process. So now it's checking, please wait. Okay, now it's starting the formatting process. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward the video, skip near the end and we'll uh, continue. Okay, the format process has completed and the PS3 is rebooting. Okay, so at this screen I want to press the PS button. Now it's checking for the update data. Okay, so now, so now what I'm going to do is I want to press right. I'm going to say accept. And I'm going to press X. So now it's going ahead with the system update. This is going to take a while, so what I'll do is I'll fast forward, edit as necessary, and we will recontinue. Okay, we are done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press the PS button, and then I'm going to go ahead and go through this process here. Yes. Yes, that's good. I'll set all this stuff later just to save time. And then we're good to go. Uh, I'll do this later with the internet.
Okay, sweet. So we're back on CFW firmware. And let's go ahead and check my system settings just to see what the hard drive capacity says. So we're going to go to system settings. And we're going to go down to system information. And it says 263 gigabytes free out of 298 uh, on this 320 gigabyte hard drive. And if we go to the game section, we see that none of my programs are here that's installed from previously. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. And let's go ahead and reconnect my external hard drive. So I got this Y cable set up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my external hard drive. Okay. So let's do this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to uh, system settings. And then from system settings, we're going to go to backup utility. From backup utility, we're going to go to restore. And then it's going to restore all the data that has been backed up. It's going to navigate to your external hard drive. So here it is. Select your backup date. So here it is from today, basically. I'm going to select it. Restore. And now it's going to go through this process. And this is going to be, well, this process is going to take a while depending on how much stuff and how large your backup file is so it might take 30 minutes or so we'll see so let me show you this initial progress bar of how that works so the PS3 is going to this black screen and then let's see what it's going to do alright so I'm gonna press the PS button We're good. And now here's the rest restoring process. And let's see how much time it's going to take. About 13 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to take a while. I'm going to pause the video. And then once this is almost done, I'm going to resume the video and show you guys that, yes, it has worked properly. It's restored all my saved data, restored all my programs. And we're ready to continue and have a lot of good time. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of the video tutorial. Okay, the restores is completed so I'm gonna press X to restart so now it's restarting and then after it has rebooted we'll show you um, what it looks like so recently I deleted a lot of stuff on my PS3 hard drive so you won't see much in terms of programs or save game files I still have to put those back on but um, let's say that you did have a lot of stuff then if you had a lot of different programs installed or games uh, copied to your internal hard drive, all that would be copied over. So here's some of my things, you know, not too much here. You know, I have that installed. And then here I can restore my save game files a little bit later on. So I'll, I'll do that. So anyways, everything is good to go. If I go back to system settings and I go down to system information just for kicks, we see that it's currently 256 out of 298. So just copied over the files from the restore. Um, back up and you're good to go. So that's today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.